Hello all you coin aficionados out there and welcome to DC Coin World International Coin Channel and today we have the $10 coin from Hong Kong and as you can see it is just beautiful here it has the bohinia flower here of the Hong Kong orchid orchid it says Hong Kong underneath Hong Kong across the top it's a bimetallic coin which means that it has a nickel brass center it means bimetallic means two different metals but a nickel brass center as you can see, it has kind of a rope-like outer rim to that nickel brass center. And then on the outside, we have a copper nickel ring. And so the nickel, um, the brass kind of is, is kind of the brown, bright. The outside is more of a silverish. And if we tip it up on its side, we see that it has a segmented reeded edge. So in other words, there are some smooth segments and some uh, reeded or lined segments. And if we flip it over, we see that it says 10 1994 and then it says $10. Again, bimetallic on both sides. And it says 10 at the top. So that's pretty clear. Now everybody's saying, well, why do you have that background down underneath there? Why is this line here with its mouth open, this line here with its mouth closed? And those of you who collect Hong Kong currency know what this is. And it's kind of a joke, but it's really not a joke. This is the Hong Kong $10 bill underneath. So it's the Hong Kong and Shanghai Banking Corporation. Now, they had a couple different banks that um, released um, paper currency in Hong Kong. And this was uh, one of them, the Hong Kong Shanghai Banking Corporation. And if we take the $10 coin out of here, you see... That it shows this uh, the building in the center, a ship over here, uh, the lions. There's a ten in each corner, and ten. And if we actually turn the light table on, I think we can set it up so you can see the lion come through over here. I'll turn this light off just for a second. You can actually see the lion come through, and this is what's called the watermark. So this paper is built with uh, this in the paper. So when you um, light it up, you can see the watermark. Also, you can see this feature here, and that is this is um, a security stripe that goes down through here. Very hard to implant security stripe in a paper if you're going to try to for counterfeit it. And it's also very hard to um, get a watermark in a paper, but that can be done a little easier these days than it used to be. Now... If you look at the at the bill, though, you can see how beat up it is, right? I mean, it's just really kind of, it's got all these lines and dents and whatever in it. And then if you look at the coin, you can see this coin is still in great shape. So this is a 1994 coin. And this is a 1989 bill. So isn't that, that interesting? So this coin, obviously worth ten dollars five years later this five years after this bill is a 1989 bill and we get this bill probably before the year 2000 and it was already this beat up just in like eight seven or eight years or less this coin will probably last forever or nearly forever so you can see why they went to coins from the um from the paper bills and again if we punch this out, we should be able to see the lion there. You can see it coming through the watermark over here, too. And uh, the security stripe, of course. And when we look at these, that's a bright light, huh? We can see the um, emblem here, the ship, and the, the, the kind of the Chinese ship, the English ship here, um, and the, the workers down here. We can see the symbology around the outside, the Hong Kong and Shanghai Banking Corporation. Promises to pay the bear on demand at its office here, $10, Hong Kong, 1st of January, 1989, by order of the Board of Directors, and this is a general manager signature. Um, and if we blow it up a little bit more, you can see that their motto is actually not even in English or Chinese. It is in French. And we look up here, and you can see their... Um, Around the outside of their um, symbol, 
they have the lion, they have the unicorn. Oh, let me get it up there. Sorry about that. The unicorn and the lion and the, um, you look here and guess what this is here. I don't know if any of you collect uh, British coins, but this is um, the lion passant, um, the Irish harp, and the, um, so this is a symbol of Scotland, Northern Ireland, and Wales, and England, this here. So kind of a really interesting uh, $10 bill, but it made way for the $10 coin because the $10 coin was, though it was much more expensive to make initially, would last forever, and this one probably will. So have a great day from the DC Coin World International Coin Channel. And thanks to all of our Hong Kong viewers out there.